Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. So, as it turns out, Altana was some sort of a demon that crawled his way up from the center of Nern, and he was found by a vigilant <laughs> named Jacob, who I suppose Hello, nurtured and nourished him in the ways of Stendar, but yet he was still rotten to the core. At least that's what I got from the, the visions and the dreams that I had while I was in Cold Harbor and on my way back here to Skyrim. It was an incredible experience. One of the most incredible experiences I've ever had. And I couldn't have gotten through it all without your support and your well wishes and the blessings of Stendar. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. And it means something to me as well, Atar. So yes, let me tell you all again about my experience in Cold Harbor. Welcome back to Skyrim. This is Hill. And I just wanted to do a little recap of the Vigilant DLC. And I must say that this has got to be one of the best mods that I have ever played. One of the best quest mods, one of the best mods, period. The work that went into this mod is just incredible. So, again, Vigilant by Vicken. I believe. I hope I'm not butchering that. But excellent. If you ever get a chance to play it, I strongly recommend that you do. Um, I'm actually, I would give this mod a 10 out of 10. It was thrilling. It was tense. It was suspenseful. Frightening. I mean, the, the world that was created is just so deep. And just filled with all sorts of, excuse me for saying depth, but I mean the, the armors, the creatures, everything that was put into this mod, it, it's just simply incredible. So yeah, I don't have anything bad to say about Vigilant at all. And frankly, I, I was quite surprised that I really had no problems with the uh, performance of the mod at all. I think, I can't even remember it crashing. If it did, it might have just happened one time, if at all. But this has got to have been the most stable uh, quest mod that I have played. And I'm just, just truly amazed. And I just, you know, I want to thank, well, the mod author particularly for creating such a wonderful mod. And I also want to thank my subscribers, the old subscribers that have been here since the beginning, and the ones that have joined along the way. I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Um, what I'm going to do to close out uh, this video will be a guide of the armors and weapons that were collected throughout the adventures in Cold Harbor. I did not get all of them, but you know the ones that I did get, uh, Zach Wan here has been kind enough to display them in one of the uh, yes. halls. <laughs> one of the display halls here in the Dragonborn Gallery. You. So we'll go ahead and take a look at that to finish out the video. Up for a little hunting? And as far as this series goes, The Vigilant of Stendar, it is coming to a close. Yes. And you know, it, it's kind of uh, difficult for me to say goodbye what to this character. I've really, really enjoyed um, playing Zach Wan and oh, 
Hey there. Using his power set and whatnot. I mean, it, it's quite, quite fun. Need something? To play a vigilant. And I tell you, if this woman does not leave me alone. Hello, friend. <laughs> anyhow, let's let's uh, finish up. The last thing that we have on our list of, need, of things to do is the Ebony Warrior. And yes? believe it or not. I have never played Skyrim to beyond level 81. This character is now level 82. Um, I don't know why. I mean, I, just what like I need? would do most of the quests and stuff like that, but just never been able to level my character up as high as mm -hmm. I have this one. And I guess I've learned from experience, um, you know, that you have to keep making yes? certain skills legendary. And, you know, I repeated that over and over again. I think smithing was the um, one of the easiest ones to keep leveling back up. So I, I think we've legendaried that one uh, probably about three times and some of the other skills as well. So, yeah, level 82. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to tackle this uh, ebony warrior. I don't know how it's going to go. I mean, I've seen videos that this guy is really tough and I think he is impervious to almost every type of elemental power and poison and paralysis so it's gonna be interesting to see how this goes and it's hard for me to to judge you know this character's abilities at, at level 82 and we are gonna do it on legendary as well we've been playing this game on legendary uh, for quite a while and we're gonna finish out on legendary with this ebony warrior but I don't really have a feel of you know how he's gonna do against the uh, ebony warrior because one thing I do have to say though <coughs> about vigilant is that I am so glad <laughs> that I played with such a high-level character because those bosses I mean wow I could just imagine myself playing with a low level character probably like level 20 a little bit higher just dying over and over and over again those, those bosses are no joke and you know a lot of those hideous creatures that are flashing in my mind a lot of those were no joke too because I actually did die I think from the the lesser creatures um, several times uh, you know in playing vigilant with this character um, you know, more so those creatures killed me than, than the bosses. The bosses seem to be easier to beat. Hmm? But, um, you know, once you, you know, figured out what they were vulnerable to, because, Up for you know, a little sometimes, you know, it could have been the, the light magic <coughs> that could take them down. What do you need? Other times it could be fire. Sometimes it was just physical damage. But, you know, you kind of had yes? to figure out what they were weak to and then you know use that against them what do you need my friend but uh you know never having fought the ebony warrior before it's going to be interesting to see how oh, that's right. going to go and i don't know if i should just try to buff my character you know using you all need? of his restoration abilities just buff him up and then go into battle or i think i might just need? start out you know, without the buffs and see how it goes. But I kind of envision, you, you know, several rounds of uh, fighting the Ebony Warrior unless I'm just, what do you, need? you know, not anticipating the true power of uh, Zach Wan. But what all right, need? that's enough rambling out of me. Let's go ahead and look at all the armors that, and mm -hmm. weapons that were collected during our playthrough of the Vigilant. DLC. Good to see you. Yes. 